In this tutorial, we're going to look at vectors in Grasshopper 3D. Vectors are really important because they determine the direction of a geometry, for example, the direction of a line or the direction of a movement of an uh, object. In Rhino, you can do that just by using your gumball and moving something, but you have to be very explicit about it in Grasshopper. So the basic um, vectors are the unit x, unit y, unit z. If you go to vector, vector, you can find those here. So we have the x vector, the y vector, and the z vector. So the x vector is along the x-axis, which is the red one. The y vector is along the green axis, and the z vector is up and down along the blue axis. So for example, if I create a line SDL, um, and my start point is just the xy center point of the grid, um, these are the directions I can use for the direction of that line. So I'd also need a length, so let's just do a slider. One is less than 30 point, or let's do a bigger one, 80.00. Plug that into length, and we can start by plugging the x direction into um, the direction. So you can see as I increase that, it goes along the x direction. If I change that to y, it goes along the y direction. And then z would go vertically, up and down. Um, so that's a really useful way of just describing which direction you want something to move or which direction you want a geometry to go. But there are also other ways to create vectors that are not in the XYZ axis. So if you go to vector there are all these different ways. Um, in this case we're just going to look at the basic vector two point. So if I just, uh, I could just delete all of this. Um, for a vector two point it'll come the vector between two points. So if I go into Rhino and I just make some points, I'll make one point here, another point there, bring those in into Grasshopper, set those points, and then plug those into my vector two point component, and that will compute a vector out of V um, between those two points. It'll also determine the length or really the distance between those two points. Um, you can't see it so sometimes it's useful to use your vector display which is under if you go here to um, params or sorry under display vector you can do vector display and then you can plug in your anchor so whichever direction you want the vector to go. A vector is a direction with an amplitude so an amount so the first thing you have to do is determine the direction. So that'll be the anchor point. We'll use that first point. And then you can plug your vector into there. And then you'll see there's an arrow that's drawn between the two points in the direction of the vector. Objects can go any way along a director. They can go backwards or forwards. So it doesn't totally matter. But it's useful to visualize which direction your vector is going. You can see the length of the vector is determined by the distance between those lines. Sometimes you want to do what's called unitizing. So you can unitize a vector, which basically makes the length 1 and that's really useful if you have a bunch of objects and you're calculating directions you don't need all the lengths of those um, vectors so you can unitize them and that'll become more clear later on when you get more into vectors but if you want to unitize a vector you can actually do it right here under U if you use a boolean toggle and you can toggle that to true and you'll see your vector is then just a unit one unit long um, you can also unitize vectors using a unitize component the last thing I want to show is the um, amplitude. So amplitude works very much like the, the unit Z or X, Y, and Z. So if you have a unit um, X, for example, let's say I have a, a line SDL, and we'll use just the start point for the line. Let me just delete this stuff. And then the direction is um, in the X, and then I have a Uh, slider for the length. You can change that slider um, to show the length of the line and, and compute the length of the line. You can also use what's called an amplitude and usually there's a few ways to do this. So one you could actually just plug directly into the X component the value that you want to use. You can also use amplitude. So I could plug this vector which is the X vector into V and then I could plug the amplitude into here and then plug that into there. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can use amplitude and it really just kind of is a bypass so it intervenes uh, between um, two components and allows you a little more freedom. So if for example you want to change the amplitude of a vector which is the length of the vector 
um, going into a component you could do that using amplitude there'll be different reasons why you might want to use amplitude versus the unit vector versus using um, an actual slider for the length but all of those are very various options that you can use